Hello guys, we are going to draw a logo similar to Windows 7, so I'm calling this Windows 7.8. Over now, if you create a, as always and um, select uh, that rectangle tool, you can also play around with its properties on the property section near the car sections to make it lounge, to lounge the, uh, the corners. So, yeah, you can lounge the corners there. So th that's where I found it, the option where I could learn the corner. So uh, there I was just selecting on the um, triangle color selected to selecting the colors that I want to use. So um, the properties of the square here should be filled and also um, you should you select like a f uh, forehead color so that's how it gets filled. Whenever you select a color and you, you do this it gets filled so they are just created multiple layers to have more control so i would go back and select the car and then select another layer so that i could actually draw this on another layer so that's how i was able to manage the the rounded cornered boxes so like once you select them in different layers you could easily control them by dragging them up and down and pressing them wherever you want so there I also went on to select a different layer and painted it on a different layer. Um, I made four layers so that I could have more control and again uh, the thing has like four colors so it is useful to have four layers. And there I just selected yellow and dropped it like that. It was quite um, temporary. So if you make a mistake, don't really mind yourself, you can just um, press the undo button. So there, I just moved that a little. I'm thinking, okay, I think um, I should uh, adjust them because they're on a different layer. So it's, it's not that impossible. It's quite easy to adjust them. So uh, that's what we came, that's what I came up with. It looks similar to Windows but it's not quite yet done there are several things that you need to do here so you can select um so there i decided to merge what i was pressing was ctrl e on the layers so that's when you merge them so there that's a color um accelerator tool and then i selected the gradient tool and chose a lighter red color so you could see that i isolated red color and once i did that i could just you know use the gradient to make it yeah look like that that's kind of cool because I selected a lighter color and then the guardian too and again I isolated the color so that, that means I can only paint inside the the color that I've isolated. So there I was also doing the same thing, selecting a lighter blue color once I've isolated blue and painting using the gradient color too to actually um, paint it like that so it looks as if it's glowing. So I think um, on the windows um, on the Windows logo that was of 2007 that this thing was the most iconic thing that I I remember seeing when I was 15 years old okay so you could also isolate green and also do the same thing also to yellow it's 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 uh, what makes this beautiful you know like it's just stunning once you do this and again isolating yellow there just to to use the guardian too and and, and do this you know, I find this hard to do um, when I'm using when I'm using Adobe Protex because I, I actually don't know how even to use them. <laughs> but anyway, it's clear that it's quite exciting for me. So I did that, and it looks nice. It looks as if it's growing. Um, though the downside of this is that we're doing this on 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 a transparent background, but it's gonna change this. We're gonna change that soon. So you, you need to select deselect once you select the. Um, the triangle uh, selected so press f on your keyboard and just drop some ink on the layer that you added the newer layer that you added so that's what we're coming up with and you could also adjust this you're seeing that it's maybe too big and you can just select um move the move tool or just that a little and then select the scaling tool and you could just go on the sides and, and just you know adjust it to, to look um to press it where you want you want it so um, that is why we're coming up with uh, still there are a lot of things to be done we're not yet done uh, there's still some stuff that we, we we're supposed to do um, 
So I was thinking, okay, maybe we should make this to glow. And I added a new layer and then dragged it in between uh, the two layers that we had. Uh, that is for uh, for the drawing that we have made and then for in between the background. So I selected. Uh, I was select. I selected. Um, I was trying. Okay, if I put it in a, on, on another background, how would it look? And before, okay, it look ugly. <laughs> so uh, here, what I was trying to do was um, try to change the background to see how it would fit. And if black was just too much for 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 what we're going for, and I was thinking. Okay, so he has just playing around with different concepts. What if I make it bright and, uh, and it's on a um, a grey background, but uh, it wasn't beautiful. I think uh, having pure bright over was quite um, was the gist of uh, was the was great for 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 our cars so i went with full black and you will go with any car you like but the concept is quite the same so they just tried to adjust it a little just just bringing it in there and after that i was thinking okay um still more there could be things that we could, we, we could do here and um Let's see. Okay, so you also need to save the file because if you don't save the file, as always, as I like to, to say, you you gonna regret it if you don't save the file. Okay, guys, let me just speed this up. I think I was quite lost. Okay, yeah. So I I went on to select the text tool. Um, um using the text tool, you could actually add text. What you need to do is just select T and then drag it in the in the blank box or the drawing area so the text box shows up and once it shows up you could like whatever you want. So I just load Windows 7.8 and on the front uh, you need to load, actually have a lot of different fonts. So on the fonts I had on the fonts I had um I had like I have like a thousands of fonts so I was just searching for uh, windows font to something that looks quite similar to what I was going for to, to make the words um, to make the windows words um, uh, look more rigid so you could actually do a lot here you could uh, um, increase the font size and then once you save it actually puts back on your drawing um, on your drawing area so uh, once you've done that you can close that and select the drag Once you've done this, you can also go to play and convert it to layer. Because once you draw a text, it's in vector, so you need to convert it. I added also a new text, a new layer there. Um, let's see what I was going for. So I was I said to the uh, then what is it? Uh, you see, okay, I think it's EFX. The effects. You just you could add some draw options and uh, uh, some draw effects. Text on your picture, so that's what I was going for. Because you know, on Windows, I remember when I was 13 years old, uh, when I was 12 or 9, that was the first time I ever saw a Windows computer and, and, and it came like this. And I was like, wow, this is interesting. Yeah, up to today, I still find this to be quite interesting. So, there, as you can see, you're able to add a uh, growing animation, growing. Um, you're able to add some neon glow to to your um, to your um, Windows logo, your a window like logo. That's why I called it 7.8. It's not always perfect when time is drawing. <laughs> okay, um, so there I was adding some glow. It's quite exciting though, when, whenever you're done with everything and then you just want to cast stuff, that's when you feel most alive and that's when I feel also most alive. So I think um, doing this is quite the exciting point of you know being a graphic designer, just just adding those effects that you, wanna, you want to see. 
um, you could do this uh, on uh, as you could see on the left side I I had this downwards I had this downwards so uh, uh, whatever I was doing it wasn't really affecting the, the the top layer but then it was just doing this on the background as light should be you, you, you're giving this um, you're giving this uh, illusion that it's shining so we're done uh, we could save here if you don't save um, if you don't save these kind of stuff you're gonna regret soon because creator sometimes can be a little brutal you find out that sometimes it just crashes and you're like ah why didn't I save this but anyways I showed you how to save this I'm sure you will be saving this because if you don't be save if you won't be saving this you will regret so um okay so let's add some a uh, cool background uh, something like a wall you need to download this on the internet just say uh, some background like silver background or wall background so and there just added it you can see that it's below our our creator area and you could also change the branding you can see that I, I I was changing the branding I, I turned it to overlay and then I was adjusting the opacity there it's 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 what makes it look as if it's branding in it's like it's not it's on the wall that, that, that creates the illusion it's on the wall <laughs> so I think you also find this quite to be interesting because you know um, it's it's what makes good exciting the ability of you doing this so what you need to do is just download something online and uh, drag it in creator and uh, it, obvi it obviously creates a new rare uh, don't create a new document just just drag it down there and and drag it as a new rare so um, once you do that drop it down below the drone that you have done change the change the branding option of your drone that you have done to overlay so it would actually seem it would actually look as if you you made you 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 drew or like the drawing is on the wall so this is what creates the illusion of what you're seeing um i like you guys to subscribe to my channel um i'll be creating a lot more cool tutorials showing you how guys you could actually do this and there are a lot of things that you could actually do here um so i urge you guys to subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll be uploading more awesome tutorials or with more passion than this I, all i want you to do guys is just to subscribe to my channel and uh, see you guys for the next logo tutorial that i'm going to upload